Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Inside HCISD. I'm Alexandria Ramirez. And I'm Christian Rodriguez. The first thing on today's news, we're actually going to be talking about an event from two weeks ago that took place during Careers in Texas Industries Week. Yes, Texas Workforce Commission, Workforce Solutions, Cameron County, and Harlingen CISD worked together to create the exploration event that took place at both Harlingen High and Harlingen South. Harlingen Consolidated Independent School District teamed up with Workforce Solutions Cameron to have a career exploration for junior and senior students in HCISD. At the event, they had a motivational speaker, Dwayne Spires, tell his story and inspire students. Mr. Spires helps students overcome their fears by showing the things he went through to get where he is today. Hearing my presentation benefits the students because I talk a lot about goal setting and being an action taker. And what's important is also not letting your past define who you are. So things like your neighborhood or where you came, you know, where you grew up from or how much money you had doesn't matter because the person you are today, the person that you can become tomorrow is what is most important. We also had a chance to speak with the regional coordinator of Workforce Solutions, Cameron, about the event and how it will help the students. Uh, we put this event together to try to help educate students about uh, thinking about career exploration, start thinking about what they're going to do in the future, uh, talking to them, trying to motivate them to, to think positively about uh, seeking future career options, and then being able to meet with employers in different fields so that they can ask them questions about how, how, how could I work in this field, what kind of jobs are available, what kind of education or training do I need to acquire to be able to do this type of job. Students had the opportunity to speak with different employers and got to share what they learned with us. What I learned today really was to overcome the things that, you know, hold you back. Um, the thing is, I can relate really well to Mr. Spires because I do live in a type of community like that, and I do face the troubles that he sort of faced. Reporting for Inside HCISD, this is Alexandria Ramirez. Talking about the next step, Jacob Fraga, a senior at Harlingen High School South, Definitely has his future after high school planned out. My name is Jacob Matthew Fraga, and I'm a senior at Harlingen High School South. Jacob Matthew Fraga, a senior at Harlingen South, will be receiving a scholarship from Jonas Martinez. Jonas Martinez was a state representative. He died at the age of 48 in a car accident on October 11, 2002. Mr. Martinez represented the 95th district for eight years. He also served as president of the National Hispanic Caucus of State Legislators. Mr. Martinez was very dedicated to the Hispanic community. Jonas Martinez, he was a man who liked to serve his community and uh, I feel that, that I can see myself in him um, because I've volunteered countless hours to various uh, events and organizations. Fraga was chosen one out of two in the state of Texas to be receiving a scholarship and would be honored by the state. Uh, I, I can just, this is very amazing, um, a very amazing humbling experience to be one of two in the state to receive the scholarship. Congratulations go out to Jacob Fraga on his accomplishments. Reporting for Inside HCISD, my name is Christy Gonzalez. The schools in HCISD did their best to make sure they kept their attendance rates up. Here's Gabrielle Muniz with more information. Harlingen CISD strives to make sure its students receive a good education to better prepare them for their future life. However, in order for this to work, the students must also make an effort to come to school daily. Harlingen High School South is just one example of how the schools are awarding students for their attendance. If any second period class has perfect attendance for so many weeks, every student in that class will win a gift card for Chick-fil-A or Cinemark. Judging by the very long list of teachers whose second period has perfect attendance, it is clear that South's rewards are turning out to be a great success. A student must be in class 90% of class days per nine weeks to earn attendance-based credit in that course. For students who have not met this requirement must complete the attendance petition form. On the HCIC website, you can find the full information on the rules of attendance. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I'm Gabrielle Muniz. And to conclude this episode, we look at two more students from Harlingen High School South, Erica Hernandez and Christian Ingram. They are among 34,000 high school seniors to be recognized as commended students in the 2018 National Merit Scholarship Program. I really like covering this story and being able to see the big accomplishment these two people work so hard for. Here's more on that. The National Merit Scholarship Program is a United States academic competition for recognition and university scholarship administered by the National Scholarship Corporation. 
The NMSC has named Christian Ingram a senior from Harlingen High School South, a commended student in the 2018 National Merit Scholarship Program. Christian Ingram is one of 34,000 commended students who are being recognized throughout the nation for their exceptional academic promise. Although they will not continue in the 2018 competition, commended students placed among the top 50,000 scores of more than 1.6 million students who entered the 2018 competition by taking the 2016 Preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, or the PSAT NMSQT. I first heard of the PSAT through my middle school, Moises Vela Middle School. They came in when I was in seventh grade, I believe, and they told us about the test. It was a practice test for the SAT, which is an important test too, but it's also a great test for opportunities to receive scholarships. I practiced for years before the test. I first started when I was a freshman, I believe. I took classes every Sunday with the Keelers. I would sit in there for about four hours and we would go over the test material, some, some things we might see on the test, and we'd take practice tests. And Outside of the class, I studied my classwork because that's really important and I took other practice tests, and it was, it was a lot of practice before the actual test. The NMSC conducts two annual competitions for recognition and scholarships. This competition is open to everyone as long as they meet the requirements. Finalists and semifinalists are given recognition for their academic and extracurricular achievements. Some of the benefits for the National Hispanic Scholarship alone are so vast. You can go out of state to a lot of schools who offer full rides to National Hispanic Scholars, and a lot of schools give just a lot of money to other National Hispanic scholars. So it opens up a lot of opportunity for these kids to go to these schools they might not be able to go to if they hadn't received the scholarship. I definitely recommend it. It's a great test to see where you're at as far as the actual SAT. It's, it's a practice SAT test, but it's also a great test for receiving money and, and recognition and scholarships. Uh, even if you're not sure you'll do well, you can do a lot beforehand to make sure that you're going in there with some knowledge of what's going to be on the test. There are a lot of resources for you out there to help you out with it. Reporting for you inside HCISD, I'm Christian Rodriguez. Well, that's all for today. I'm Alexandria Ramirez. And I'm Christian Rodriguez. And, and this, this is, is Inside HCISD. HCISD.